today I'm going to pull off the one called uh, The Risk of Avoiding Risk, um, which is a strategically planned, uh, placed, that is, just after two preceding principles. These are in the principle area. These are the principle of um, the path of wildness, which is the courage, resolve, and effort uh, and decisiveness to step upon into and towards a new life, to break out of the current circumstance and uh, status quo towards a new life. It's a tricky thing to do. Then followed by the great life adventure, which is the consequence of stepping off the path and embarking in a new life, heading off to live in a new foreign country or to start a, a, a new career or just to do whatever it takes to really live a new life. That becomes a great life adventure. The third one, this is the one I'll focus on today, is the risk of avoiding risk. So, the risk of avoiding risk suggests that there is uh, something to be considered about trying to be too safe. <laughs> now, I'm a project manager by profession. Uh, one of the things that I do as a project manager is identify risk. And I bring, I, when I see an item of risk in my project, I collect the facts related to that risk. I then prepare uh, option scenario I option to, to, do, to address the risk. Now, there's typically a couple of ways to handle a risk as a project manager, uh, three or four, that you can um, um, mitigate the risk, do something about it. You could avoid the risk, you know, go around it. You could accept the risk and say, well, well it's, that's gonna, if that happens, it happens. Or you can, this is the one that a lot of project managers uh, sometimes forget about, is that you can capitalize on the risk, find a way to turn it to your advantage, right? Um, one of the things you can do that, that, that I think was the second one is to avoid the risk, um, is to, to go around it somehow, is that you may miss, the, miss some opportunity. Sometimes in life, less than projects, actually in engaging in the activity of, of, of managing a risk or actually encountering the risk, accepting the risk, so mitigation or acceptance, uh, or especially capitalizing on it, um, embracing the risk, uh, can yield something very wonderful, especially in life, more than projects. That is the experience of an adventure, even if it's a challenging or a painful adventure. And also the embellishment of a, a great life story, more to add to you, the story of your life, an additional scar on your cheek to tell stories about at the cocktail. You know, I got this one surfing the big waves in Tahiti. <laughs> you know, I didn't avoid the risk there, whatever the heck that is. Um, though, there's an opposite consequence. This is the point of the principle. The risk of avoiding risk we, we all understand that engaging in a risk can yield stories and examples and experiences and even wealth and you know, friendships and all kinds of stuff. But avoiding a risk? Do, do we don't always think about what the consequence of that is. The consequence of that can basically be the fact that you missed the opportunity of all the life that you could have lived if you had engaged upon the risk, even if it might have killed you. Hmm. I know so many people by virtue of my activities as a YouTube content creator and as Softy Papa in Japan, particularly when I was in Japan and doing all my adventures. People who would write to me and say, I want to come to Japan and I want to experience things and hike and travel and swim in rivers like you do, Kurt, and all those various things. And I would wait for the inevitable but. But. My family won't understand. But. I really need to start my career. But. I'm afraid, but it costs too much. But I don't know anybody over there. I can't speak Japanese. I don't know what I would do. I'm scared. And so they don't. And the years pass. And they become old. And then maybe they can do it later in life, but their youth is gone. The opportunity is no more. They can come over when they're old, but it won't be the same. The risk of avoiding risk means that the story, that particular story that you might have engaged with and enjoyed and made your own is now past and there's no chance of it anymore. The risk of avoiding risk is the risk of losing a great life adventure for fear 
of the unknown.